Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Aged Out Reacts with the two hosts of the Aged Out Podcast, Michael Fantini and Evan Wall. And we're coming at you today with some Madison Scouts action. We were going to do Phantom since they're the core is finishing higher and then we're going to hit Scouts after the season was over. But the most recent Phantom video is like July 3rd from George Collins that's usable. And then there's like, I think there's a Blue Stars video from Murfreesboro, but... They were still getting the quad players back in and trying to get them on the field and stuff. So we'll probably wait till after finals on Blue Stars as well as Phantom. I think this is finals week, so it's Sunday, August 6th. Yeah. can't believe we're already here. I'm so hyped for this weekend coming up. Uh, Planning to I, do the predictions podcast tomorrow evening. So. Yep. So this video, you're watching it probably on Monday, August 7th. The predictions podcast will come out on the 8th on Tuesday. And then I think we're going to do one more reaction video, probably to Mandarins, that'll come out on prelims day or quarters day um, with TJ, I think. He said he was down. So we'll see. try and make that happen. But make sure you check out the podcast on all podcast services, uh, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Google Podcasts, uh, Facebook, Instagram, never miss an update, follow over there. Uh, check out all the judges' tapes. We've got three of them up so far. We're going to keep from Evan's Dropbox of goodies, dropping all kinds of crazy uh, finals and other awesome historic years for groups percussion tapes um yeah i'm ready to jump in scouts are a lot better than this year is all i'll say a lot better this year than last year yeah is all that I'll was, say. yeah yeah significant growth from year to year yeah we actually didn't react to them last season um but we figured they're so much better this year that like we need to highlight this and the, and the growth yep. of the program under uh, ryan ellis and his team Cam Halls and the gang. Also, Robert Martinez, our base 311. Go subscribe to his channel. Thanks for yeah. the video, dude. And we'll see you at finals. Hopefully. Bases under that was pretty cool. Yeah. I'm going to pause and back up. Yep. When they're playing those singles, that's so cool. From an arranging standpoint and an effect standpoint, they're playing them at like a, a forte, like nine inch height, and then they go up to a full turn and they put the bass support underneath it. It just takes a consistent rhythm and just ups it and punches you as a viewer. At the very beginning, too, uh, a, a cool texture and just timbre. They have unique with the, uh, I'm probably going to butcher the terminology, but like the cymbal sizzle choke stuff going on that, ooh, ooh, highlighting the kind of accent. Yep. I believe you said this was from like Denton. Yeah, it's San Antonio. San Antonio. Antonio. Those singles are cool. Full ensemble singles. That whole phrase. Still a couple scratches here and there, but uh, video from like a week ago. But two weeks. The, I would say the ensemble demand and just already the execution. Uh, of this battery exceeds probably what they were able to accomplish last season. So. I would say it's a night and day difference over last season. So they took last year, built off of it way better this year already within one year. And I think the bass writing was my favorite part of that entire phrase. They mirrored so many of like the paradiddle figures and like flam rudiment figures in the bass line to support it. So I'm going to back up like 20 seconds so people can, if you missed it, really listen. Robert uses great audio stuff to get to really pick up the bass line. He's a bass drummer. Makes sense, you know. <laughs> right there with that, like, flam rudiment phrase. It's a good roll at the end of that, too. Crispy snare drum tuning too. They are crispy. You said the Remo, Black right? Max. Yeah, Black Max. Ooh, nice 
baseline. Dude, their baseline's nice. I like the hand speed change in the middle of that. Was it a two count? Whatever they were playing. Ryan's a uh, Ryan's arranging and writing has grown significantly too. Just For sure. Over the years of him doing it, from what he started. For Boston sure. In the first year. Listen to the one counts from the baseline. I'm sorry, I'm harping on the baseline, and that's freaking the tuning, the writing, so cool to me. Hey, got your attention. Right there. Ooh, nice phrase there. Good isolated right hand doubles. That whole phrase was nice. Ooh, nice shaping. Woo! Is that in the hand hand? Dude, that was dope. Nice. Yeah, baseline's cooking. <laughs> um, I think one thing that's helping them out too that I noticed this year is that they seem to be doing less choreography. So, uh, less environmental yeah. shifting on the playing surface. Yeah, yeah. They've uh, they did Ryan's, a lot of choreography last year. Last year there was a ton of lot choreo, and I'm sure obviously all that was in the show too. And um, it yeah. seems like they're doing just a lot more like focusing on we're going to hit the drum at the same time as best we can and make that the goal. Well, on all the tapes I've heard, I've never heard a judge say, I wish you were doing more choreo here. Or taking bigger steps as you crab to the left. They note it when you do it, but they don't always ask for it. That was good. Really solid throughout the middle of that. One one minor tick on the front end. I will say there's a lot of like full battery phrases where the quads yeah. are playing the same rhythms as the snares throughout the writing and the bass is even too. A lot of verticality with the book. Like, a lot of that phrase was just, like, quads mirroring the snares a lot of the time. Not a positive or negative, just kind of an observation. <laughs> what? I'm cracking up. My man's hair. Oh. <laughs> the wind's getting him. Uh, yeah. full battery roll at the end of that phrase a little mole skin action on the back there yeah different timbres different, different textures texture. Four more support minutes. from backfield cam rocking the the converse <laughs> also
Dude, just finish it out. Let's go. <laughs> the integrated flatline. Seven stars? Two. Yeah, it's only seven. I noticed Never it last noticed. night watching Allentown. A little trade off section back and forth. This whole section's all about the baseline. Good re-attack, but then somebody on the attack of the singles, the second part of that kind of was a little late to the party. That's the biggest thing I've noticed so far. And it's with, where have they been finishing? Like in the 10th, 10th spot, somewhere around there. I have, I should have checked before we did this, but the biggest uh, thing I'm noticing is like... Overall, I think a little lower. But. Yeah, it, a lot of the, the ticks when they happen are coming out of space, which we've said on here infinite times. Space is very hard and takes a ton of maturity as a drum line to really handle over and over and over and over again. And once they're in a phrase, like once it's in, it stays in pretty well for the rest of the phrase. Like it's, it's just getting a good start is what I'm noticing the most here. And I will say, I not that like it's a contest within a certain drum line, but I think the bass line is yeah, probably the best section. Yeah, they did finish 10th at, uh, at the Atlanta Regional. There's a yeah. couple people not there, like Mandarins. Mm. Uh, Mandarins would be so above them, like, so 11, 12. Like 12. Yeah. 12 range. I mean, that sounds about right to me. I mean, you see like yeah. when they're in phrases, they're really in it, and it sounds really good, and they have moments of really, really good clarity, and then other times they'll take attacks here and there and just kind of somebody will be late on like a one-count roll or like the start of a triplet roll or something, but – um, overall, I mean, like we said, it's massively better than last season. Also, yeah, a little bit of a delay on the video between now and then. Mm -hmm. but. We're like, this is two weeks ago, so. Right. Take that with a grain of salt as well. Yeah, not bad moving one. in and out of the rolls throughout that phrase. Get a second rep here. Better, better. Yeah. Second rep was better for sure. Hold on. Whole thing. Whole thing from the flop right. Whole thing. That long roll at the end of that phrase was good. There was just a, a balance and blend between the blondes and snares issue. Good bass lead in. A little five lit action. Very dense writing, vertically written. Oh, wait a second. section to end the show very yeah, very yeah. aggressive yeah. um i mean yeah, that was a very densely written phrase a lot of it sounded pretty good i mean it's a lot harder people think from a like a quad and snare drumming standpoint at least to go from like really high singles right into like paradiddles paradiddles back to singles up and down like that T requires a lot from the hands and up and down strokes and switching gears and they did a really good job moving in and out of singles to yeah, threes going, back to singles you're going from a lot of like more finger led 
uh, ideas into like wrist and mm -hmm. like downbeat oriented and making that uh, shift ideas on a dime like that. Stroke. Yeah, you got to work hard at it. And they moved in and out. Baseline. Of... No, go ahead. No, no, no. Finish your statement. I was just gonna say baseline definitely uh, wins the award for best section of the battery. For yeah, me. yeah. The baseline is freaking yeah. solid. At least came off as freaking solid in this video. So uh, sure. the tuning is also great, and uh, I will say. I really appreciate when I see lines go from singles to threes, like, like, uh, to three strokes, like singles to threes, three strokes back to singles, back and forth and move in and out of that. Cause again, like we said, with the paradiddles to singles, high to low, it's the same kind of concept where you've got different fulcrum, fulcrum demands going back to singles, more wrist, um, depending on how fast the singles Finger are. Fingers. Dexterity. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of gear shifts in there. Well done in the last phrase. I mean, I, Good job, Brian and team, and all the members. I'm sure working their butts off. Scouts, I've I've enjoyed. I've seen the show like five times probably this season on random throw flow streams. They're good. They've been getting better uh, every time I see them. This was two weeks ago, so I'm sure they're even better now after Allentown, the final push of the week. And uh, I'm definitely gonna check them out either Friday or Saturday uh, in the lot earlier in the day. For sure. Are they in finals right now? The core. I was just, I said that thing. I don't think so. No, so we'll check them out on Friday. This will be a group so. that we make sure we get up there early enough to uh, to see. But, yep, be on the lookout for our finals prediction podcast. Uh, we'll probably try and do Mandarins as well before finals. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, hit the subscribe button, comment, like, let us know what you thought about the this video and the Madison Scouts this season. And uh, Patreon, hit the join button, and we'll see everybody in the next one. Peace.